guys, Stitching May here to do a quick video, an update. Yes, I know I'm a little bit late. I said to my last one that I would be here in two weeks and it's been three weeks. I'm just going to say I did that to give you an extra week to enter the giveaway that I'll be drawing for in this video and not that I just didn't feel like doing a video. Um, no excuses really. It's been the same old, same old here this week um, or these last few weeks, just staying at home, doing homeschooling. Guys, I did not enjoy geometry the first time through. I am not enjoying trying to teach my second grader geometry. It's not working. Luckily, I have some math friends that I've been discussing some stuff with them, some techniques. Geometry was not... I can do algebra, not geometry. Um, my son is awake playing. You may hear him in the background. I've got the door closed, hoping to kind of mute him some, but he's having fun online with his friends. And you may hear my dog snoring. Um, normally I kick him out, but I'm having to keep him a little closer. He is 13, guys, 13 years old, and he's got pulled muscles in his back. I'm so glad it's just pulled muscles this weekend, like the end of last week when I normally do my video. We noticed that he was kind of acting different, but couldn't really peg what it was. And then over the weekend, he couldn't move, and he had actually lost control of his back legs. I was convinced it was something spinal or something much, much scarier. We took him to the vet on Monday when I got off work. We went immediately to the vet. It's a muscular thing. He pulled the muscles in his back. We've had to baby him. <laughs> He's enjoying it. He's spoiled. But I don't want him hiding like under a couch or under a bed. So I've got him locked in with me to where I know where he is. So pardon the chihuahua snoring. Wow what, two minutes in and I haven't even started talking cross stitch yet. So with it being three weeks since my last video, I do have more to show you than I've had in the previous videos. I don't have stitch counts. I did catch up my cross stitch journal that took a whole two days trying to figure out the numbers. Um, I stopped balancing my checkbook because I became obsessive down to the penny. Like I wouldn't just round up or round down. Like I had to know where it was and I've apparently adopted that into my stitching journal. I'm balanced out with the stitch though and we're working. <laughs> um, I've worked on, let's see, one, two, three, four. Four projects and I have one new start. So that's five projects I've touched, guys. My stitching bug is back. And then I have some haul to show you. I will do the drawing for the giveaway in between my cross stitch and the haul. How about that? Does that work? Because I know some of you guys don't like to watch haul. And um, then I have a couple of gifts to show you. Right? Is that everything? Yes, that's everything. Um, so let's just jump in in no particular order. Oh, and then I'm also going to try something. Um, last, The last video I commented, pardon me, lost you knows it, um, that my camera was washing out some of the colors. And a lovely viewer messaged and said that it was probably because I was using the white board and that the camera was trying to adjust to that and darkening the colors and she suggested a more neutral color so towards the end again towards the end of the video I'm going to show you some flaws that I've already shown you just to see if you guys which if the white looks better with the color with the colors or if you guys think the gray looks better it's completely a um rectified board I just taped some gray fabric to the whiteboard until I can see if it helps and if it does help then I will purchase a gray foam core board. Anyway. Wow. Hello squirrels. So in no particular order let me show you my projects. This is one that I worked on. I worked on my Jane Marshall Sal from Hands Across the Sea. True Stitching May. A needle attached to the fabric every flipping time. Um, I have, I will show you of course what that looks like from when it's finished and then I will also insert a picture of what it looks like or looked like in my last video or before I started stitching on it this time and this is part of a sale I think, I know Ellen has finished it, I know Emily has finished it, I don't know if Sarah has finished it but um, I'm always behind on my sales, it is what it is. But this is the Baby Got Outback Sal 
Hands Across the Sea designed this pattern to benefit the Australian Fire Brigades. And they named it the Baby Got Up Back Sale. So, I'm also holding my, my pieces up now on a not completely white. It's kind of an off-white board. But that is where I am now. This is, a, this is turquoise. So originally I had stitched this in this yellow and or this gold and I had stitched it in gold and green and I did not like those two together. It was too too stark of a difference. I will have the green in there but those together were just too bold of a difference. So I changed that to orange. I think it's called copper. And then that turquoise I'm loving. It is Mediterranean Sea by Gast. I'm still loving the colors that I picked out guys. First time I've just randomly picked. Most of the time when I pick colors, I try to base it off of what the the photo looks like. This one, I just, hey, I like these colors. And I'm picking as I go. Like I said, I stitched all the way across with that green. And I wasn't feeling it, and I showed it to my husband who said no. I showed it to some of my cross-stitch friends, and they said no. So then I pulled it out and did it in the orange. Um, the next project that I worked on is my RETM Alice. This is what it will look like when it's finished. This is one of the original patterns. It's not the PDF. You know, you can now get their patterns, of course, on eBay if you want the hard copy. But then you can also, um, I'm sorry, RETM. Has she really released? She has not re-released, has she? She has re-released. I'm thinking she is re-released. If she has re-released, I'll drop a link to her downstairs. Down, downstairs. Down, real life down below I'm not starting over I usually have at least four start over it's not doing it this time um if she is I want to say she has reopened and if she has reopened I'll put a link down below to her charts of course you can find some of them on eBay as well but I would rather you guys purchase straight from the designer than overpay to people who just have hoarded the charts and this is what it looked like from the last time. I used this for my homework prompt and prompt in Magical Stitches. I didn't complete the homework prompt. But the prompt was something that goes into gingerbread houses. And that night, Garrett, or Coffee Stitcher as you guys know him, was in Virtual Stitchers. And I could not find, and it was also Jesse Marie's birthday. And it was something to do with time. And of course, look at this nice white rabbit with the clock. You know, him and his pocket watch. It's flowing out on here, but there's a white rabbit with a clock in him right there. And he was obsessed with time. It, it's hard to see even on the picture. Otherwise, I would take it out and show it to you. But he was obsessed with time. So that's what I used it for for the Josie Mary birthday sale. And I didn't know how to get it into the homework, pr homework prompt. But then Garrett so lovingly told me that in the original Hansel and Gretel that she did not eat the children but instead turned them into gingerbread men man and woman and put them outside of her cottage I don't know which is worse for a children's story for the which to eat the children or for the fact that she turned them into food either way it's kind of creepy so anyway Alice can be turned if that's with that story then that means Alice is a child and she can be turned into a gingerbread person. Also, there are designs. There are, um, like the heart could be on the tart. There's all kind of things that we can use. So, this is where I got to. I finished out, I finished out this border and then I stitched part of the first motif in here. Sorry, I have wonderful scratches on my hand from taking care of the dog when he was really hurting. Anyway, um, and that was it. Just worked on that black little motif. This is stitched on in the called for DMCs and the fabric was a gift to me from Belinda. It is a, I say either Wilchult, I think it's a Wilchult. Yes, it's a Wilchult fabric called Star, stardust, silver dust, moon dust, sapphire, 
sapphire mist I don't know so I don't always remember every single fabric somebody said one time they were impressed some of them I remember some of them I don't I remember where they came from though and then for my birthday I guess I should have shown this first I started the Jeanette Douglas Vintage Birds. This is what it will look like when it's finished. Here we go. I actually pulled out my original charts for you this time. And I have pulled up my own colors. They are all so random. I picked my own colors. This is one again that I picked looking at the picture itself, comparing the color that it was supposed to be to the color that was shown up. Anyway, it was a whole long ordeal. I am stitching this on the 36 count um, legacy linen that Emily broke her neck to get to me. Not her neck, her sister's neck to get to me. And guys, I got further than this with my start. But then the other night I had to frog over 100 stitches. So this is where the frog left me. I did have this wing. Oops, let's try this again. I did have this wing in place, but that's what I had to frog. It was like five stitches too far this way. It needed to be five stitches back that way. And it messed up the whole bird. It was not anything that could be, you know, frogged. Or it had to be frogged. It couldn't be finangled, flubbed, there's a fudged. That's the F word I'm looking for. I probably said other F words while I was frogging. So anyway, however, I will say that when I couldn't, I had ordered this fabric when all the quarantine stuff was going down. I wasn't getting it in time. And then Emily so graciously gifted me a piece of fabric. And then after that, like five days after I started it, my Stony Creek order showed up with my fabric in it. So I'm going to do lunch with Emily, maybe dinner with Emily and Jim, like both of our families. We'll see at some point. And I'm going to replace her piece of fabric. That way she's not missing fabric. Um, and then another piece that I worked on... I use this for homework prompt, something that defines you, and this is Good Intentions by Kathy Barrick, and it says, I myself am made entirely of flaws, stitched together with good intentions, and let me tell you, this is like my thing, because I always try to have good intentions, and sometimes those good intentions get me in a lot of trouble. My mom used to tell me that the, ooh, that song was pattern, that the road to Hades was paved with good intentions. Well, I meant to. <laughs> so, this is where I was before. This is also what I worked on in virtual stitches the night that we were doing 24 hours of cross stitch. I maybe got four hours of cross stitch in. I have no clue this fabric, this entire fabric, and I want to say the fabric and the pattern, and I think the floss, I'm not 100% sure, were gifted to me by the lovely Belinda. Guys, I have a box ready to go out to her. <laughs> it's back there. It's got stuff in it. I've been packing it up for a while, and then when I was ready to ship it off, we can ship stuff to Australia right now. <laughs> so... As you can see, I just worked on this top border to where I could get to the word soon because I love that quote. I have a headless lady and I also finished out her dress. I just left her a headless. I don't know why. That's horrible, I know, but it is what it is. I want to say the head is, the head and face, yes, the face is, the face and the head is one over one. Maybe that's why I avoided it. Subconsciously, that's why I avoided it. But there that is. Guys, he is snoring hard. If you can't hear him, I'm shocked. And then, mania. Mania started. And everybody was asking me my mania plans. 
and I had none. So then at the last minute, I decided that my mania was going to be something not too crazy, more about something I needed to do, but I was going to use mania as my excuse to do it. I have decided to start working on my Starry Night by Lady Bird, Bird Designs. I'll insert a picture of what it'll look like here. You all know what Starry Night looks like. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like before. I'm using this for, so my goal is in May. At one point I was trying to stitch on this every day. But then what would happen is that because of work, I would get behind. And then I'd have a whole lot of catch up to do. And then I gave up on it. So instead, I am going to stitch on this for at least one strand with the goal being 30 minutes every day that I stitch. So I'll probably use it for my daily 30 in Cheryl's group because I'm trying to get back into all those and do all those prompts. I've joined into semi-sains, not only Stitch Hopley, but also the Whammy, Whammy Stitch, Stitch Whammy, Whammy Board, Whip Whammy, Whammy Whip, I don't know, Whip Whammy. I have 1,850 stitches to start. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a while. Anyway, so my goal is to work on this when I stitch at least one strand, if not 30 minutes. So I got a very meager progress. It was about 150 stitches. I filled out some of this up here at the top and started filling in some of the side. My goal is to kind of fill in here and then start coming down. I thought about trying to park and then it overwhelmed me again and I was afraid something new would scare the bug away and scare the starry night bug away. So this is the halfway point and this is halfway of halfway. So this is about two, once I finish all this it'll be, it'll be two, three fourths of the way done and then I've got the same amount down here to do. This amount down here to do. Does that make sense? Is that as clear as a mud pie? <laughs> Oh, right back. But there that is. That was out on my bars today. My husband noticed it and said something. Bless his heart. So I have been looking for the shorter L bar to my Lowry for weeks. And it was one of those things I was like, okay, it'll turn up, it'll turn up. And then it never did. And I became more and more worried. And then I was convinced that it was behind my huge stitchy cabinet that's bolted to the wall. Because we didn't want it to fall over on anybody. And... So today he comes in before work after, oh, we had plumbing issues this weekend that he had to fix. Um, I walked in to our bedroom and I don't know if you've ever seen Christmas Vacation, but where she goes, why is the carpet all wet, Todd? Yeah, I pulled that. I said, why is the carpet all wet, Scott? It turns out we had a leak in our bathroom. Luckily, it was a cheap fix that he could fix and then we just had to shampoo the carpet he shampooed the carpet. Who am I going to kid? And then aired out. It turned out to be not as bad as it could have been. But still, on top of the dog being sick, it was an interesting weekend. Um, or interesting Monday and Tuesday. That's our weekend. Um, then today I got convinced that this piece of metal was behind the cabinet that's bolted to the wall. He's like, honey, it won't fit. And I showed him with my other one. Yes, yes, it will fit. He's like, great. That's probably where it is. So he unbolted it from the wall, tipped it up on its side-ish to where I could look behind, and of course it was not there, so he put it back. And before the man could even bolt, finish bolting it to the wall, I found it in a very obvious place that I thought I had looked. I said, oh, I found it. <laughs> he said, really, Megan? That was his only response. Really, Megan? You get mad. <laughs> no frustration. He's a very patient man. He lives with me. He's got to be. <laughs> for the most part a very patient man he can have little moments but then again he lives with me so anyway that is it for cross stitch so now I will insert as you guys know I did a giveaway on my last video of this kit right here this is by Thea Governor <laughs> um, this one is called red and yellow tulip red yellow tulip parrot tulip 519A. It comes with Ada and the flosses. Probably an eagle as well. And I did this as a giveaway if I was to insert in give a comment about their favorite flower. And I've already done the giveaway or I've already done the drawing and I recorded it earlier and I'll insert that now.
Okay, so I'm here at the YouTube comment picker. I have my URL here in the URL box, and I've put the word flower to filter the comments. I did not notice any double comments, so I did not select that because I don't know how much I trust it, and I don't want it to knock somebody out by accident. I've read the handy-dandy instructions before because this is the first time I've done this. So there were 15 commenters, so that was 15 entries. And I will click start, and it should give me a winner. Winner, Mr. Haney12 is my winner. And it says, congratulations on your seventh anniversary. I found you and Jellicles Forever as my first cross-stitch video personalities. Not long after you've begun making videos. I'm so glad that you've been able to continue over this time, and I look forward to many more. My favorite flower is a Gerber daisy. Oh, I love daisies too. They are spectacular in color. I know Gerber daisies are a little bit different. May you and your family stay well and safe. Until next time, Carolyn. So, Carolyn, if you do not mind contacting me, um, I will leave my email address. I will also comment on your comment to let you know that you are the winner. And I, my email address is in the drop down box of this video. Don't put your email address on the comment because I don't want people, I don't know that any of my viewers would bother you, but other people may. <laughs> so um, I will try to get in touch with you somehow and you try to get in touch with me. Congratulations. I'm so excited. So I'm back. <laughs> I always, I don't ever know how to do those breaks very well. They're always a little awkward. But I like As you can see, um, my viewer, Carolyn, won. Hope it's okay to call her by her first name. Um, I'm so excited that she won because, as she said in her comment, she's been watching for a while. And that warm, warms my heart that it was somebody that's been watching and that didn't just join, you know, in for the giveaway. So, congratulations. Like I said in the video, if you will contact me. My information's in the drop box. I will try to get this out to you. If you're international, I don't know if you are. It may be a little while because I don't know how shipping's doing. I'll have to check with my post office. If you're here in the States, I should be able to get it out to you next week. Fingers crossed. Okay, now on to my haul. Um... So I mentioned the picture this plus fabric that I already had ordered, but it didn't come until recently. And I'm going to actually gift, I don't know if it's a gift, I'm going to replace Emily's fabric for that. And then Julicious, she used to do floss tubes. She still does them here and there. She's in nursing school and I will vouch that nursing school takes up all, all of your time and all of your brain space and even the time you have off you don't feel like doing anything else so she's not done videos in a while but she did have a stash sale on her instagram and i purchased two things from her one is this beautiful here comes the gray <laughs> and he, like it's literally just taped to this pie board um this beautiful fabric by under the sea fabrics and um, this is brown sugar. It's a 36 count. It was a wonky cut. She let me know before I purchased it. She made it very obvious that it was a wonky cut, as you can see. But I got this for cheaper than I could have gotten it. I mean, the price was amazing. Um, it's a beautiful color. Let's see. I may not even have to use the gray. Look at that modeling. And it's brown. It's so pretty, guys. I absolutely love this fabric. I almost, almost did vintage birds on this, but I would have lost some of my colors. The colors didn't pop as well as they do on the Legacy, so I decided not to. But there that is. Again, this is brown sugar. And then I also, from Stony Creek, when I purchased this fabric, looked through their clearance bin because I always, if I ever sit, if I ever purchase anything, Stitchy, I look through the clearance bin. If I'm in a store and they have a clearance bin, I look through the clearance bin. And they had this 20 count light ash gray. I have to make sure I say that very enunciated. And as you can see, it's just light gray fabric. This may show up better. Which one does it show up better? 
That one shows up better on the, no, because it kind of makes it a purpley blue color. I think the gray is better. What do you guys think? It's almost white, guys. Like, it is barely not white. Barely, it's almost the lightest color in this shirt, actually. Just a very, very light gray. It's 20 count. Um, I would stitch over this one over one, of course. Um, not two over or whatever that would be. Not to make it 10 count. I would stitch to make it 20 count rather than the 10 count. Um, I got that. I thought I could either maybe try my hand at dyeing or maybe some Christmas ornaments or something. I don't know. We'll see. I just got it because it was super, super, super cheap. And then I also purchased some needle minders from the lovely. Is that all my haul? Let's see. Oh no. I got this um, Knit Picks cotton. It's a washcloth, dishy cloth. I purchased this from, um, oh gosh, the gray does help the colors. I really think it makes a big difference. I really think the gray shows the colors better. Wow, that makes all the difference in the world. Thank you to my, my to my viewer that told me to use the gray instead of the white. She said I had to do, I think I've already explained that. It has to do with the, it trying to balance out the white. But anyway, this is a dishcloth cotton, 100% cotton that I got because I like making washcloths now and I love these colors. And then I got this. I got these wonderful needle minders from Stitch and Button. Do I have her actual card? Over here where I can show you her card. Here it is. Let's see if I can show both. And of course, I won't go to her store below. Let's try this. Sorry. The magnets hold through the foam core, guys. Her magnets are so, so strong. They're holding through the foam core. So, this, these are the needle minders. As you can see, that's the Plague Doctor. Which, this needle minder then um, prompted a... Use a different finger there. Um, prompted a... <laughs> well, Sheila, Prompted a history discussion with my son about the plague doctors because apparently this guy is a bad guy in one of the games he plays and I was explaining he was like why and he named it off I can't tell you what the character's name is he was like why is that on your needle monitor so I had to inform him of what that is and then you know we discussed how there was a plague and how now that this the, the plague anyway that it's some of the diseases that were causing them issue back then don't cause us as much issue now and how eventually the same will happen with what's going on now. It was a wonderful healthcare discussion and a wonderful history discussion. So it prompted some original homeschooling. And then I also got one of these um, Stitch and Button 2020 needle minders. You can see it's got coffee because she has to have her coffee. And if you're interested, here is her business card and I will link to her her um, store below. She's on Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy. And then she gifted along with this. And I asked her before I shared this because I didn't want her to be bombarded. She gifted us with some masks. She sent some guy ones, some Star Wars ones. Guys, it even has the like metal nose piece in. Um, for the boys. These are stormtroopers. Probably my son will probably wear, will steal this one as his. It'll be too big for him, but it'll work. <laughs> but some wonderful Star Wars fabric for the hubs. And then this beautiful blue dot and anchor. I like the anchor side better. But then I like the blue dots too. The other side of this is the I know what it is. I don't know which ship it is. It's some of their equipment. I like the blueprint for some of their equipment on their ships. I can't tell you what they are. And another one of the blue and the dots. So the way I let her know I got this is that the night we were in virtual and I came in with 
my mask on ready to um, stitch because we had more than 10 people in so you know I needed a mask up I'm looking at myself there and crossing my eyes but they're amazing they're well made I'm so excited and so thankful for these and then another gift that I'm horrible I am a horrible 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 person this was actually gifted to my son a while back ago right before the craziness started and then the craziness started and he had his stuff in it and it got put with his stuff rather than in my floss tube bucket I keep everything I need to show on floss tube in this bucket and because it wasn't in my floss tube bucket I forgot to show it and then the other day we were doing crafts and I saw this and I was like oh my gosh I never shared that with the community so as you guys know Stitch and Button had gifted my son with a diamond painting kit um i'll show you what it looks like this diamond painting kit and he's loving it not making fast progress but we're making some progress and um when i showed that in the last video garon toten bags contacted me and said hey what kind of stuff does he like i would like to make him a bag to put his diamond painting kit in. and guys he sent me ronnie sent me how rude so anyway my camera cut me off because apparently i've been recording too long ronnie sent me this beautiful star wars bag look at this fabric guys he was so excited i videoed a video of him opening it and sent it to them to let them see his face. He had no clue. I was like, hey, you got something in the mail. And he's like, I got something in the mail? Because you know, even I as an adult like getting stuff that's not bills in the mail. But to a kid, like, getting stuff in the mail is the be all. <laughs> he was so excited. So they sent this beautiful, here's their card, as you guys know. Most of you know Garon tote bags. There's the business card. And it's got this amazing star fabric in the inside and he loves it the other day i was like hey i was picking on him i was like you haven't done your diamond painting in a while i'm gonna use no you're not gonna use my bag <laughs> i can't even finish the sentence before he um told me no that i was not using his bag so he is very territorial over this bag and then he diamond painted some more <laughs> i don't have to show progress like i said but still and then that is everything for this video let me real quick see if you guys can see these colors better these are some of the colors that i had a hard time showing last week so i'm gonna try them with this um i'm gonna try it on the white and then i'm gonna try it on the gray and you guys tell me i'll be able to tell in this viewfinder but you guys tell me what you think it looks better how the colors seem to show up better i get can you tell though You'll be able to tell if the colors are good or not. If they seem better on the gray or on the white. So this is the Old Penny. This dark truffle that's kind of brownish purple. And then the Kalamata. Which was a pink but was showing up dark dark purple in the last video. In the last time I tried to show it. Y'all tell me which color seemed to... Which one does it look better on? This is on the gray. See how the brown's kind of got a purpley color to it? And there's the old penny and the Kalamata. That's it with the gray. And then here it is with <laughs> the white. Do not laugh at my tape job, please. There it is with the white. Yeah, because this looks completely black. And that looks dark purple. And then that looks gray. But when you hold it up with the gray... Yeah, I definitely think on my end the gray looks more true you guys let me know what you think on your end so anyway that is it now that I've had a 30 minute video after a three week hiatus again congratulations to my giveaway winner I'm so excited please contact me and guys as always thank you for watching thank you for the comments they mean more than you know to me take care and happy stitching snoring is so loud.
TikTok, then the alphabet song, then the lost name, and then the spook. Mm -hmm.